Hello and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be testing out the vampire losses that I experienced over a full week using OS 2.5 on the three settings of 24 hour mode, two hour mode, and 30 second mode. For the energy settings, I am going to show you the results for each of those days and how they compare. So let's get started. Right now, the car has 269 miles and the state of charge is 84%. For the test today, I am going to have the energy mode set for two hour mode. And we'll see after 12 hours of the car sleeping, how much vampire losses we have during that time. So I'll see you in 12 hours. It is now 12 hours after I took that photo last night. So let's go inside the car. And here we go. We see 268 miles and 84%. And that is only one mile less than when I left it last night. So that is pretty impressive. I'm going to try this again tonight with the same energy setting of two hours and I want to get a couple of these so I can make sure that the numbers are accurate. Then following that I'm going to set it to 30 seconds and run that also for a couple of nights and compare it. And finally I'm going to do the 24 hour mode for a couple nights and I'm curious to see if that makes much of a difference. Previously 24 hour mode had a lot of vampire losses compared to the other two settings. All right, here's the second night of testing for the two hour mode on the energy screen. I have 266 miles remaining and it is 84% state of charge. So let's see what it looks like tomorrow morning. Okay, it is 12 hours later. Let me open up the car. And here we go. We have 265 miles remaining, 84%. That means only one mile was lost to vampire inefficiency. So that pretty much confirms the one mile loss for every 12 hours for two days in a row now. So I think that's pretty good. For the next part of the test, I am going to change the energy standby time from two hours to 30 seconds. And I'm going to try that two days in a row also and see what the difference is. All right, it is 12.18, just finished charging. Let me start it up. It is 267 miles remaining at 84%. And I have the standby time set for 30 seconds. Let's come back in 12 hours and see what we get. And here we go. We have 268 miles, 84% remaining. If you recall, I had 267 miles when I turned it off last night. So I don't know if it's just rounding or some recalculation in the BMS, but I actually got one more mile than I started with. So with the 30 second mode for energy, I pretty much consider no vampire losses in 12 hours. Let's try this again tonight and see if we get the same results. Okay, I finished charging. I'm at 84%, 265 miles remaining, 8.14 p.m. Standby time is 30 seconds. So I'll be back in 12 hours to check on the results. Okay, it is now 12 hours later. Let's wake up the car and check it out. 
Okay, we have 265 miles and 84% state of charge, which is exactly what I left it at last night. So we can pretty much confirm that the 30 second setting on here has pretty much no vampire loss. Two hour remote had about one mile loss over those 12 hours. And now we're gonna do 24 hours. So I'm gonna select 24 and we will do that for two nights in a row. All right, it is 9.20 p.m. and we have 263 miles remaining, 84% state of charge. As I did yesterday, I have the standby time set for 24 hours. I'm gonna be checking on this tomorrow morning and see how I do. All right, 12 hours. And here we go. We see a range of 260 miles and 84%. And if you remember from 12 hours ago, it was 264 miles. So I did lose four miles overnight, which sounds about right for the 24 hour setting. So we're gonna try this one more time tonight and see what we get for the final 12 hours. I have 263 miles remaining in 84%. It's just around 11 p.m. And with the second test of the 24 hour setting for standby time, I'll see you in 12 hours. Okay, we have our final test. I am going to check out the numbers after 12 hours. So we see 261 miles, 84% state of charge. So we're seeing a drop of three miles, which compares very closely to the previous day where I lost four miles. So here's a chart of the results. The first one being the two hour mode. We have results of about one mile loss over 12 hours or about two miles per day, which is about 0.6% state of charge that's lost per day. For the second one, the 30 second mode, which is the most efficient, I have roughly zero loss in miles for 12 hours and also for a full day. And I'm gonna just say that it's 0% losses. It may be somewhere between zero and half a percent I just don't have the detailed information from the battery pack to give a specific number for that. But in any case, the final one, the 24 hour mode, we see a loss of anywhere from two to three miles per 12 hours, which is equivalent to four to six miles for every day. And that's between 1.3 and 1.9% losses per day. And I have also noticed if you have a newer battery, you're going to see most likely less vampire losses since it takes less for the car's high voltage battery pack to charge up that 12 volt battery. When the 12 volt battery gets old, it needs to be charged more often to keep that state of charge. And that is more vampire losses. So I hope this gives you some more information about the settings for the energy mode. I recommend leaving it on the two hour setting since that seems to give you a good mix of efficiency with ease of use. And by that, I mean, you don't have to have the center screen booting up every time you get into the car if you are using the car within a two hour period. So a lot of times during the day, if you're traveling, doing errands, you're getting in and out of the car multiple times over a couple hours. You don't have to wait for the car to boot up. And that's how I feel about this setting. Use it in the two hour mode for best convenience, or you could put it in the 30 second mode for best efficiency. It's up to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.